Shout aloud, hallelujah. Let's rise up on our feet, please. Let's close our eyes as we raise our two hands to the Lord and sing this song loud and cool. Holy Spirit, be my comforter. Holy Spirit, take control. Hallelujah, as I walk along the way, the way is now. Oh yes, Holy Spirit, be Holy Spirit, move me now. Hallelujah. Send 
we thank you for this morning and we praise the holy name for your mighty wonder walking power we thank you because you are nailed in the sure place our shelter in the time of storm accept our thanks in jesus name. this morning open our understanding we talk at the point of our need and at the end of this service let us glorify your holy name let all the glory belong to you. Let all the shame belong to the devil. And let all the blessings belong to us. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In louder, amen. Let's have a seat. God bless you. This morning is a day of violent prayers. 
But let me explain to you what we're praying about so that you can know what to do when the time comes. Killing peace killers. Killing peace killers. Revelation chapter 6, verse 4. A strange scripture which will explain to you what exactly is happening in our nation and in all, most nations of the world now. In Revelation chapter 6, verse 4, if you are there, say yes. And there went out another horse that was red. What is the color of the horse? And power was given to him that sat there on. There was somebody riding that red horse. Power was given to that person riding on the red horse. And what was his power? To take peace from the earth. And that they should kill one another. And there was given unto him a great sword. Have you seen that scripture? Let's everybody read it. Let's read it loud and clear. Let's go. What was the color of the horse? What power was given to him that was riding on the horse? His power is to take peace. So there is a taker of peace. Take peace away. So peace is an entity that can be taken away. Do you follow what I'm saying? Good. In the book of Luke chapter 10, Luke chapter 10, verse 5 to 6, this is Jesus giving instructions to his disciples. Luke chapter 10, from verse 5. If you are there to say yes. And into whatsoever house ye enter, first say, Peace be to this house. And if the Son of Peace be there, if the Son of Peace be there, your peace shall rest upon it. If not, it shall turn to you again. So the peace can be transferred here and there, here and there, here and there. So when you enter a particular house, say, say peace be unto this house. If there is somebody in that house that the Bible defines as a son of peace, that is his life can magnetize the peace of God, that peace will stick on his head. But if there is no son of peace there, the peace you have given to them, shall return back to you. Strange scriptures. The word peace is a deeply interesting word. Peace can mean normalcy. Peace can mean to abstain from fighting. Peace can mean no antagonism. Peace can mean secure, security. It can mean freedom from strife. It can mean freedom of the mind from annoyance, from trouble, from distractions, from frustration, from anxiety. It is this lack of peace in the heart of men that brings physical war. Because it is men who have war in their mind, who go to fight war outside. A lot of mind lack peace. Peace come in silence, stillness, being untroubled, freedom from disturbance, freedom from war, tranquility, freedom from contention, That's peace. The Bible has a lot to say about this word peace. And so you find the Bible in Genesis 41 talking about an answer of peace. You can read the Bible in Exodus chapter 20, talking about peace offering. You can read in Numbers chapter 6, the Bible says the Lord gives peace. You can read in Numbers 25, 
about the covenant of peace. As you read on the scripture, you begin to find expression like having peace on all sides. You read about having peace all about. As you read through the scriptures, particularly when you get to the book of Psalms, you find I will lay down in peace. The Bible talks about righteousness and peace. The Bible says pray for the peace of Jerusalem so they shall prosper that desired it. The Bible tells us that the Lord, even the Lord our God, is the prince of what? Peace. The prince of peace. The Bible talks in Isaiah 26 about perfect peace. It said thou will keep him in perfect peace. In whose heart is stayed on thee. The Bible talks about ambassadors of peace. Then the Bible talks about peace as a river. Then the Bible goes on to say that there is no peace for the wicked. The Bible talks about the way of peace. The land of peace. The thoughts of peace. The son of peace which you just read. It now says something in John 14, 27. Look at John 14, 27. John 14, 27. It says, Peace I live with you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth. Let not your heart be troubled. Neither let it be afraid. The Bible also tells us that there is a peace from God that passes all understanding. In Philippians 7, it said, Then the peace of God that passes all understanding. So you can see from this uh, rough going through scriptures that the issue of peace is a very serious matter to heavens and earth. The issue of peace is a very serious matter, matter to men and beasts. The issue of peace is a very serious matter to angels and demons. Just as that revelation passage that we read, it takes power. Say so that man on the earth. The man on the red horse was given power to take peace. Just as it takes as it takes power to keep peace, it takes power also to take peace. There are some demons, there are some powers called takers of peace. They are takers of what? Peace. They are sons of war, sons of trouble. As opposed to sons of peace, there are takers of peace. There are takers of peace, also known as sons of war or sons of trouble. You find that when they put United Nations forces somewhere to keep peace, that peace is enforced so that violence could cease. But when and where the peace has been taken out, that is a great problem indeed. When and where there is peace, people do not kill themselves. But according to Revelation chapter 6, verse 4 here, the man on the red does has power to take peace from the earth so that men can kill themselves. And then the, a great sword was given to him to, to kill as many as he wants. When and where there is peace, people do not kill themselves. When it is absent, they kill one another. Peace is a solid entity in the spirit realm. It can be given, it can be taken. It can be given, it can be taken. It can be transferred. Peace can also be taken away by those empowered to do so. May God deliver your home. May God deliver your business. May God deliver your marriage. May God deliver your health. May God deliver your children from the power of peace takers. In the name of Jesus, the seven fold amen to God. When a peace taker get somewhere, people begin to kill one another. When they join a business, the business goes into coma. When they join a home, 
the home will develop marital kwashoko. When they join a family, because their job is to take away the peace, the family collapses. When they join a church, crisis will, will, will close that church down. When they join some friends, those friends almost automatically begin to kill one another. They start killing one another. Can you shout this as loud as a voice can carry you this one? Say, peace taker! Sons of war! Hear the word of the Lord! Run out of my career! Amen. Now you put, you put, put area that you want inside that prayer. If it's your marriage, you want to put, put your marriage. If it's your health, you want to put, put your health. Peace takers! Sons of war! Hear the word of the Lord! Run out of my body! In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and shout it loud! Command them to run out. In Jesus' name we pray. Listen, beloved. No matter the capacity in which they join, whether they join at the top or they join at the bottom, they take away the peace that was previously enjoyed in the place. They are never at rest until everyone begins to kill one another. And you know the Bible defines murder as hatred. It's not when you kill somebody that you have committed murder. The Bible says, he who hates his brother without a cause is a murderer. So when the peace takers enter into a place, hatred, murder, killing will start. So peace takers, they puncture peace. They demolish peace. They pollute peace. They torment peace. They kill peace. Which is a terrible disaster. Look at our nation now. We have degenerated to a level where we have to be scanning people before they enter church. To searching people's handbag and scanning their bodies, scanning this, scanning that. The simple reason that the peace has been taken out. And we have a battle to fight to restore that peace. But it is men in whose life peace has been taken out that will now go out to take peace out of the life of others. It's men who are sons of war inside who will now go and transfer the war outside. We have a lot of people who are completely mad, who are walking about the streets. They may be wearing three-piece suits. They may wear the latest perfume. They may carry the finest briefcase. But when you look at them, you say, handsome young man. You say, handsome man. You see a beautiful lady, well-dressed. But really, you are looking at a mad man, a mad woman. There are many serpents in suits like this all around us. There are serpents inside that brother. There are serpents inside around over. There are serpents inside skirt and suit. There are serpents inside all kinds of dresses. And they mingle with us. It's not when you land at the Zakari Kosu that you're a mad person. There are plenty of decently mad people walking about on the streets. There are plenty of peace takers moving about. Therefore, this money is a very violent money. As many people here as desire the peace of God, just as they require power to take peace away, you require power to, to enforce peace. It is that peace you want to enforce now. And to be a tragedy if you keep quiet. Rise up on your feet now. Rise up on your feet now. The prayers, I want you to pray now. It will be a major tragedy if you keep quiet. And if we allow the voice of the next person to you to be louder than yours. We are not here to joke. We are here for serious assignment. All eyes closed. But you see, if you are here this morning, and you are not born again, you have not just surrendered your life to Jesus. Do so now, so that the Prince of Peace can reign in your heart. Just say what I'm going to say after me, where you are. So, Father, I come before you this morning. Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Take control of my heart. In Jesus' name. Amen. You said a short prayer with me. Just wait and see us after the service. The man was riding a red horse, which represents blood. The man has power to take peace away so that men may kill each other. This is where you have to be very angry in your spirit. 
the first place to decree peace upon is your body. Because you are not feeling well in that body, other things will be troubling you too. Say, Pass! I sound against the peace of my body. If you are not feeling all right in your body, this is prayer for you. Or they have diagnosed one thing or the other against you. This is the prayer for you. Can I hear the sister shouting this loud? Can you shout it again, sisters? Brothers, can I hear you shouting the same thing? Your time is up! In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to declare. Papata Satandaka! You see something is happening already. Powers are signed against the peace of my body. Your time is up now. Bapata kasatani katandaka. In Jesus, then we pray. Shake your head. Shake your right hand. Shake your left hand. Shake your left leg. Shake your right leg. Shake the head again. The head, the head now. Shake it vigorously. Now shake the right hand. Vigorously. Shake the left hand. Shake the left leg. Shake the right leg. Now shake the whole of that body. I sign against the peace of my blood. In the name of Jesus, yes, whatever the enemy has planted to that blood, let them depart now. In Jesus' name we pray. Repeat that procedure again. Shake the head, the right hand, left hand, left leg, right leg, the whole of the body. Shake it. That's right. Look at what is happening over there. Yes, the angels that are against peace, they are departing. They are departing. Aha. Jesus, open your mouth and decree it again. This is not a death to negotiate. Open your mouth, open your mouth. That's why you are here. In Jesus' name we pray. The Bible says, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivered him from them all. So he kept all his bones. Pass! I sound against the peace of my bones. Can I hear you shouting this loud? Damn! In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Bapota sete kaya bo shente rabasanda. In Jesus' name we pray. Repeat that process again. Shake the head vigorously. That's right. Aha. Now the right hand vigorously. The left hand too vigorously. The left leg vigorously. The right leg vigorously. Now shake the body. Shake the body. That's right. Enough is enough. Shake the takers of peace out. Amen. Say, powers. 
assigned to trouble the peace of my Israel. In the name of Jesus. Aha. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, then we pray. Now you have to be specific. If you want to say body, say body. If you want to say business, say business. If you want to say career, say career. Peace kill us. In my family. In my career. Just put what you want. Peace kill us. In my career. I kill you today in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. My capota santa ever. name we pray. Dark powers mobilize to damage my peace. Can you say that loud and clear? You are a liar. Dark. In the name of Jesus, dark powers mobilize to damage my peace. Enough is enough. Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Silence. Within the next one minute. Something is going to happen to certain people. The rope of the inherited battles tying them with dead relatives. That is the battles your those dead people fought. You that you are alive now, you have resumed a similar battle. Something is going to happen to you where you are. All of a sudden, you feel a hand on your head, and ropes shall be dragged out of your body. And that will be the end of this battle you'll be fighting. Let there be silence. That's the first person. That's number two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This particular prayer, I want you to pray it in boiling anger. And don't joke with the prayer. Say physical and spiritual hired assassin. Can I hear you saying that one? Is that the loudest you can shout it? Then with a louder voice, you say, destroy yourself in the name. Jesus, open your mouth and declare. Jesus, Jesus, the Papa la Kate setem de Kaya Boshen de Araba. They shall destroy themselves.
In Jesus' name we pray. Say this after me loud and clear. All nations compass me above. But in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. They compass me about. Yeah, they compass me about. But in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. They compass me about like bees. They are quenched as the fire of tongues. For in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. Shout this loud now. Every witchcraft pot whispering my name scatter in the name of Jesus. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. The powers that hate my peace. Your time is up. In the name of Jesus. Something is happening here this month. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. name we pray. Silence again. I command that evil powder sprinkle in the shoes of that man over there in your place of work. They sprinkle some evil powder in your shoes to ensure that you make unpardonable mistakes. Right there where you are that man over there. Your two legs are on fire. And the arrow fired into your legs through the satanic powder is going back to the sender. Aha. That agent of darkness that have employed into your business and has taken away the peace of that business within the next 24 hours, the agent of darkness shall flee. <laughs> Say thank you, Jesus. Begin to prophesy into the womb of this week and into the womb of this month. Command the week to favor you. Speak into the womb of the month. Professor, say thou mount of April, prosper in my life. Thou mount of April, bring me breakthroughs, bring me great things. Amen. The Lord bless you from Zion. Make his face to shine upon you. And be gracious unto you. You're going in your coming, I shall be blessed. No weapon from against you, your family shall prosper. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray.